Toughest strong man in history, right here. Hey guys, welcome to the Giants Live podcast. We are here for the Strongman Classic. It's an incredible lineup. Darren, sadly, you've got to be excited about this one. The amount of talent that you have coming to these Giants Live shows now, and th this lineup is unbelievable. It's amazing. Yeah, everything's just falling into place, really. We've got such a great venue, a great lineup of athletes. Obviously, we put the invites out, and everyone said yes, and everyone's excited about being in this great venue for the third time now. Um, there's been obviously a new champion. A world's strongest man, and uh, an old champion that probably wants revenge as well. So yeah, I think it's I think it's um, going to be an interesting show. You've got some real talent, and the beauty about this show is, you know, I think the events don't suit everybody, and everyone has also got a good event in there. So I think it's going to be not a clear cut score. I wouldn't like to bet any money on it. Put it that way. Yeah, I think we're going to have a, a really tight battle, to be honest, Terry. Yeah. Um, you know all these guys well. You've seen them compete. Uh, let's talk about some of the athletes that compete and obviously I probably should point out the, the Alexei Novikov last year or the two-time defending champion unfortunately can't be here this year so we're guaranteed a new champion in that respect but we have the current world's strongest man we've got the the last winner of the last two world's strongest man competitions here we've got the winner of the Shaw Classic here we've got so many incredible strong men that are going to be battling out five brutal events how do you see it going this weekend? I mean, I'm, I mean, I've gone gone over it a lot of times in my head in terms of like where I think things will fall, but I think obviously it's great having guys like Mitchell, Tom, obviously really on top of their game and everything else. But we've also got a couple in Rongo and and um, Bibby who we didn't get to see at World Strongest Man, but we know they're great athletes as well. So it'll be interesting to see the dynamics. Obviously, they want they're hungry. They want to show that, that those those guys can really mix it with the big boys. So there's a lot going on in terms of like the different dynamics of it and, and stuff like that. And maybe Kevin's been a bit unlucky not making the final. He's here, he wants redemption, obviously. And um, I think the lineup's absolutely absolutely amazing. And um, I've, I've been excited. I mean, I, I, I spoke to Darren. I wasn't actually, I was meant to be away this weekend and I was so di disappointed to be missing this show. And then when obviously my plans changed, I was like, thank God for that, I get to see this because he's going to be incredible. We're starting off with the, um, the Nickel Stones and you mentioned Kevin there. He is the current record holder on this. He, his grip is just phenomenal. His ability to move with awkward weight. Do you reckon anyone can challenge him on this event? I mean, I, I can't see um, that guys like Mitch Hooper are going to be bad at it. That's for sure. He's good at all well, the What you've got to remember is Mitch actually for a very short time did have the world record. So last year... The last time we did it at Glasgow, Mitch actually beat Kevin's record the year before, and then obviously Kevin beat four, him again. Four guys broke the record. In we had four or else five guys broke it. Yeah, so and actually Luke Stoltman's had this record before as well. Mm. Granted, it was you know about eighteen meters then when Luke had it, but still he had the record. So Luke's pretty good at it, and Evan was pretty close as well. So I think it'll be all in the day really. I think now these guys are prepped. A number of guys that could be really good mm. at this, and it, for me, it's going to be interesting. I, I think. Events like the Nickel Stones are one of those that we will see distances to continue to get better as the athletes get a little bit more familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I think Kevin, Kevin's kevin got the advantage <laughs> here because he's carried them further than everybody else mentally and it, because he's a world record holder, we're going to let him go last, obviously, so that's a, gr a big thing on that. But I think Kevin's going to have to really push it to beat these guys. Yeah, I mean, they're all going to be hungry. I mean, some of them, like I said, will want to prove that Perhaps, you know, they maybe underperformed a tiny bit at Worlds. Some perform well. Guys like Evan, he's going to want to, like, springboard on even further. I mean, there's a lot going on. And, um, I mean, obviously, Kevin didn't make the final. But we know he's an absolutely top strong man. So he's going to want to prove a point for sure. Bibby's got an unbelievable grip as well. Yeah. You know, he's got a Hercules hold. It's a grip event. But, I mean, these things are weird because, you know, they don't move very well. The the, yeah. the 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 don't sit still. That's the problem. So your grip can be great. It's more about balancing the things. I was gonna I was gonna actually ask you about that because people watching will be you know the, the the talent of grip in this competition is very high. I mean Evan mm. Singleton, Bibby we know is phenomenal. Obviously Kevin's grip's phenomenal, yeah. but it's not just a grip element when it comes to this event, is it? No, no. These are very particular things you know to do, and the guys that have done them before I think will have a big advantage. Because if you let those weights fall in front of your legs or behind, you can't walk with them. 
they don't actually feel that heavy when you first pick them up, yeah. but they just drain the life out of you. And it's one of these events. People pick them up in warm ups. So yeah, they're not that heavy. I think they're like 116 and 142 or something like that, which isn't very heavy for these guys. But as soon as they start walking, you see the pain on the face. Mm. Like, oh my God, you know. The rings are actually quite small as well. Yeah. So it, it really feels like it's like a cheese grater yeah. on your hands. It's, it, the bigger your hands are, it's almost worse sometimes. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But it'll be, it'll be an interesting one. There's so much talent. There's, there's a couple of guys we know have proven that they're good. There's a few guys that potentially could be good. I think we're going to see some big distance. It's not necessarily always the best grip guy that wins it. I mean, Felix is okay at him, but he's not the best. And yeah. mm. there's no doubt that he's got probably the best grip in the world. Mm. Yeah, Yet he doesn't win the nickel stones. No, indeed. Um, so Kevin's going to be the favourite on that one, but the likes of, of Evan Singleton, the likes of potentially Bibby, the Stoltmans, and Mitch Hooper are all big names to be looking at. Definitely, yeah. It's going to be an exciting start. Mm. Then we move on, I believe, to... Is it the Viking Press next? I'm not the, sure the, the, order, the, the second event is the York, 450 kilos. We've got some beautiful new, new Yorks made. Um, guy Richard Looney over in Ireland's made them for us. They're, they're fantastic. Really suit the Royal Albert Hall, made of solid oak. The 450 kilos, um, just 20 meter race basically. And Hooper and, and Evan are, are the t you know at the minute the, the two best York racers. So that's going to be interesting. But people are forgetting about Bibby. I mean, when you were the best in the world at York, actually Bibby, I think was, was he, he's beaten jumping me before, at York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, Bibby is is unbelievably fast. And I think, you know, I, I, on my own kind of channel, I, I I put out some predictions with with Bibby. He's hard to predict right now mm. because we just haven't seen him yeah, compete. You're right. mm. But he, he's proven before how good he is. I mean, we know his grip's phenomenal. His pressing is unbelievable. He is rapid when it comes to, to carrying events. He certainly can be, yeah. If yeah. he is in shape, he could potentially be a problem for people. Definitely, well, like, yeah. I, I think someone like Bibby, I mean, perhaps doesn't get the credit for how good he is at moving events. Mm. Obviously, we all know about the press. The pressing, he's got a massive grip and all the rest of it. But... I think it was the fir first one of these, and he really showed, like, on all the moving events, he was yeah. winning those too. Yeah, he was, yeah. You know, he, and he is unbelievably fast for such a big man. Perhaps everyone just sort of expects him to be slow, but he's really not. I just want to see him compete. Yeah. Because I think that's the only thing. You know, fans are obviously going to watch, and they go on recent performances. Yeah. And unfortunately, we just haven't seen any full He's, he's such a talent. He's it, such a talent. And then also, he's coming off a disappointment because he went to Worlds. He was injured. His bicep was injured. He tried to compete. He got, he got warmed up at Worlds Strongest Man. And, and he just wasn't, the bicep wasn't right. So I think he might have a point to prove as well, mm. you know. He's all healed up now, so it'd be nice to see him to do well. Because, I mean, he's always been on the podium at Giants Live as well. Yeah. And I think people do underestimate him, and I don't feel like we've ever seen the best of him. No one near. No. Not even close That yet. is a man with some crazy potential. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to be those three, probably the, the names to look out for. I think people are excited to see a potential head-to-head -head with, with Mitch and Evan, especially with a bit of the banter yeah. that's been going on. Line, I don't know if you guys have seen them. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit forth. of a few jokes there, definitely. Yeah. Evan, yeah. Evan's got a point to prove. Yeah. And, um, always, anyway. But That's it. He is, he is looking in great shape. He so. is, yeah, definitely. And 450 kilos, I think those guys are going to be sprinting. Right? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah. And it's a hell of a weight, but these guys are just so quick with that sort of yeah. thing. Um, and the next event will be the deadlift. deadlift for um, it's the 360 train axles for reps. The world record on these is still Martins Lissis with eight. Yeah, um, tough, tough deadlift. It's hard deadlift, yeah. I, I've deadlift. always said, like, you know, pulling 360 in the gym on a barbell or even an axle, it doesn't actually feel the same no. with this because no. it's all fixed and, like, nothing moves. You know, the wheels are fixed onto the bar. It's the hardest 360 kilos you'll ever do. It's raw, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, we've both pulled on it. and Yeah. It's, it's a beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's just no give whatsoever. Yeah, and I think sometimes people forget as well, like with a normal bar, obviously, with the axle bar being thicker, it does essentially make the bar lower. Mm. And, and it's sort of, I know it's only a little bit, but it is almost like you're pulling from an inch deficit. So you're pulling from inch an inch deficit, lower. And actually slightly out in front yeah. of you a little bit yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So people get used to it. I feel like they can't get the legs into it as much when yeah. they're doing yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, so that'll be interesting. I mean, you've got... I think Evan's deadlift got a little bit better. Bibby's, uh, he was down training with us a few months ago and his deadlift was pretty good. But you've got your usuals. Tom's a great deadlifter. Mm. I mean, obviously, Mitch is a great deadlifter. Um, I think someone none of us have mentioned, actually, so far, and he is a great deadlifter, Trey Mitchell. Trey yeah, is unbelievable, Trey, I mean, yeah. yeah. You know, he's he's such a, a big name in so many comps these days. We've not even mentioned him. And he's not, he's not even, you know, this is the point of this lineup. It's so good. 
True hasn't really got a bad event either, no. you know. Well, yeah. he's, he's a bit like a silent assassin as he well. Is, he's yeah. so quiet and just sort of goes about his business. Yeah. He perhaps sometimes does get overlooked, but he's, you know, twice won that big show in America. and He won the show classic yeah. twice, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and obviously he's, you know, he's, he's coming on strong. He's performing well at Worlds every year now. He's a consistent... <laughs> Top five guy yeah. now, simple yeah. as that. Every, yeah. every big major show, he's yeah. there or thereabouts, yeah. he's performing Definitely. well. So it's going to be interesting. I think because he keeps quiet and he's not got that sort of um, personality that's outgoing, he keeps himself to himself and he's such a, such a great guy, people sort of forget about him. It's like, yeah. this guy's a monster. I think Tom, monster. Tom's looking more like he's back to his best again as well. From yeah. what I've seen in training, he looks like he... Sometimes, you know... To say Tom did badly, it was, is ridiculous, because yeah. he didn't do badly. He was yeah. second, and you know, his, maybe his performance at the Arnolds wasn't what you'd expect from him, but he seems to have got better and yeah. better as the years going on, and he seems focused again. I think uh, uh, probably with Tom, you've been through it, you've been through it. When you have a bit of time off and you sort of have a bit of downtime, it takes a couple of sh shows to get going again, yeah. I think. Yeah. And um, even though you might feel like you're back at full strength, you're not quite competition sharp. Yeah. And I think maybe for the Arnolds was definitely the case. And maybe world's strongest man, he wasn't quite there, just purely because of that time off that he had. He needed some downtime. Yeah. He'd been hard competing regularly. He needed a bit of time off, which is understandable. And maybe a world's just come a tiny bit too early for him, but that off the back of that, we could even see an even better Tom moving forward. I mean, he's walking around the hotel, looks absolutely massive, yeah, let's be he honest. Does, he, looks, he's, he looks huge. I think it was you I was speaking to on the phone the other day. And, you know, sometimes, and again, you've got to kind of be careful with the way you say this, because... To say Tom did badly at Worlds is ridiculous. <coughs> but for his own personal expectations, he was there to win. And, you know, if you think back a few years ago, he had a real bad performance of Britain's Strongest Man. Yeah. And it was probably the best thing that happened to him. Yeah. Because after that, he Came was back and won it, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how Tom does. Um, we move on to the Viking Press next. That's going to be an interesting one. Amazingly, and I say this with respect to him, but Paul Smith is the record holder. Paul Smith's got it? the record with 13. Um, I and don't think that's going to last this week. Well, weekend. the thing is, that, that, you know, it's always been 150 kilos. It's calibrated every time. And it's actually had some really good people across it. It's not like it's been, you know, just at Britain's Strongest Man and there was no good presses there. It wasn't. It's had a lot of good guys. Singleton's Great had all of it before. Yeah. Hicks, he's had all of it. All these guys. Hicks had a bit of bad luck on it. Uh, he didn't work for the down signal. But at the end of the day, Paul's got the record on it, and that's to be. I do see it going tomorrow, if I'm honest, mm. with Bibby and Luke Stoltman and people like that. Yeah, we've got a lot of good presses. Trey Mitchell, Bibby. Uh, the only question with Bibby, and I don't know if you guys think this, I think he might be a bit wide for it. Mm. Uh, Possibly. You, you, you may have seen him do it. So yeah, I mean, the thing is, I think it's, it's quite wide, actually. But the thing is with this, every time Viking Press comes out, I'm on about not a Giants Live at every show, someone messes it up. They either double dip or they don't come down low enough or they don't wait for the signal at the top. Yeah. I think that if I think the safe bet is to make sure you get every rep in. Yeah. And I think it'll be between my opinion, between Evan, Bibby and Luke Stoltman. And I think whoever wins it is probably the one that actually makes sure they don't miss a rep. Yeah, he's so even got someone like Rongo as well. We could sort of throw into the occasion. Yeah. Good presser. Is he a good presser, Rongo? Yeah. Right, okay. he is a good presser. Someone yeah. I think that could be good at it. I might be wrong, but I, you know, when you think about how good Paul Smith was in it, mm. and he's very technical. I think someone like Pavlo Kordiaka could be yeah. very good. Yeah. Very explosive. We've seen him on a lot of overheads. My only worry is about Pavlo. Is he going to start double dipping because he does that on yeah, a lot? He does. So yeah. you know, he needs to make sure he's not going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because sometimes when you train like that for so long, it's very difficult to just switch it off yeah. when your body's used to doing that. But that's going to be great. Uh, and, I, and I do see that record going. Nickelstone record, I think, will probably go, possibly not. I think it's, it's, it's hard, but you're going to have, I think you need a few people to fight it out. And I think that's what we've got tomorrow. You've got mm. a few good people there. And same with the Viking press. I reckon that once the first pairing goes, I think we'll have the world record just about there. I mean, you, know? you could even look at it in terms of obviously with the, the yoke being a new bit of equipment, it is very possible that we could end up with a new record on every event tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the guys here and everyone coming in in shape. We're we'll finishing with the stones and we've got some amazing yeah. stone lifters. You mentioned Rongo there. Let's talk about some of the other new guys that are competing. You know, Rongo is, is completely new to, to Giants Live. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing him because he is such a character. Yeah, he is. Hey, Strength fans. I think it's a pretty well-known fact that Giants Live and the best strongmen in the world are rather partial to picking up a used car or but two. We go. But we must admit that our cars are never under eight years old. And as for the engines, well, 
They don't even have engines. That is so close. Wow, that's fast. He just attacked the car. However, at Hay Car, you buy only the best used cars on the market. All cars come with a warranty, 10 day money back guarantee, and they're sourced from selected dealers only. Look at the speed. Wow. Unlike our beat up bangers, every car is under eight years old and has less than 100,000 miles on the clock. But I'm pretty sure it'll be a world record. You can browse the range at haycar.co.uk or why not go to the App Store or Google Play to download the Haycar app. That's spelled H-E-Y-C-A-R dot C-O dot U-K. C, strong men can spell. You've got guys like, I mean, I, I, I really like Spencer, who's competing. He's... Um, I've seen him compete a couple of times. He's one of those guys that's again a bit like Trey, sort of quite quiet and just does his mm. thing. But he just he's very solid and very consi consistent. And um, you know, I like sort of people that sort of that got that unassuming way yeah. about them. I mean, Spencer's won uh, official strongman games twice, yeah. and that's a hard show when you look yeah. at the lineup of that. So he he's won that twice, and this year, two of the other guys in the top five went to the final of World Strongest Man. Yeah. Um, Matt Rag and, and, and Jacko Skillwinkle went to the final. So it's like the the good guys. The oh, great yeah. guys. The top ten at OSG are all incredible. So to win that two years running, that's I think, not I luck. think he was second one year and won it the Yeah, and we've had, was we've it had right? okay. Cordiac has come through that system as well. Yeah, yeah. that's it, yeah. So yeah. it shows that it's working as well. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Um so the stones are the heaviest set, uh, one twenty to two hundred. So that's I'm sure there should be at this show as well. Um so that's gonna be interesting. Obviously, you got to say Tom's a favourite at that. Evan's very good at stones, but then we got big Trey again. We're forgetting about Trey, you yeah. know. Yeah, Trey's a great stone lifter. Wow. Mitch was second on the stones at World's Strongest Man, just behind Tom. So, you know, it, it, stones are one of those events that when you're you're battling to win, you tend to do a bit better. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And, that's and it. When you sort of, you know, we've all been there when your comp's not going so well, you're tired. And you think, oh, I'm not gonna. I don't care about the 200 today. But when yeah. you, when you, when the title's on the line, when there's a podium on the line, you just dig that little bit deeper. I, I, I don't believe this show will be decided before the stones. No, I just right. don't. I don't believe someone's gonna yeah. have won it anywhere. I think that someone's gonna have to lift stones fast to win this. So who are we looking at? We've mentioned a lot of different names. Who have you guys got for for the title this year? I mean, I think we probably all agree on this between Evan and, and Mitch Hooper, probably for for the win. But we still got Tom. You know, he's still got some good events. Maybe not the best set of events for him, but they're still good events. Yeah. Very good. My, my my opinion is this. I think I think you're right. But however, if Trey does well on the nickel stones, mm -hmm. Trey's in with a chance. Yeah. Because Trey's got some hellish events. And yeah. it, but the nickel stones, I don't know. But if Trey did well on nickel stones, think about the other events he's got. Yeah. You know. Very good. Yeah. Because <laughs> Trey could win the stones if Tom. You know, he, he's up there. You know. Yeah, well, we always sort of talk about it in the stone off at World's Strongest Man, and the two people you wouldn't want in your group is Trey and Tom. You just go on, wouldn't you? <laughs> unless they're against each other, you're pretty much you're not going to beat them. Yeah, that's it. Imagine if we saw that. That would yeah. be oh, Jesus. We'd yeah. be there all day. Yeah. Hopefully, we never do see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's going to be a great competition. There's so many talented athletes. I think there's. I think we all kind of consider Evan is in great shape. Yeah. Evan's like really peaked for this. Obviously, been training very, very hard. Great events for Evan. Mitch has been very busy. He's coming off winning the World's Strongest Man. Obviously, when you win Worlds, you've got all the kind of, you know, mm, press yeah. that goes with that. He's been very busy, but they are a great set of events for yeah, Mitch. Yeah. You know, he's unbelievable. And Mitch, Mitch is naturally good at Strongman, do you know what I mean? It's like, if he misses a few workouts, I'm not sure it's going to affect him too much. And he's, Mitch always turns up with a fight. You know, he's not one of these, if his head's not right, his head's always right. And I think... I think Mitch will, he's not, he's not just here to make up the numbers. I don't think he'd have come to I me. Think, I think with Mitch, it, it still baffles me a little bit. Like, <laughs> and I know it sounds like a bit of a weird thing to say. All the guys here are the absolute elite genetics when it comes to strength sports. That's why they're at yeah. the level they are. They're the absolute elite. They've been training for years. They've been eating right. They've been doing all the right things to be at their best they could possibly be. And in the space of a few years, Mitch Hooper comes out of nowhere does a few years of it and he's better than everyone <laughs> and it's kind of like it just it's blows crazy. my mind that someone can come in and be that good at yeah. such a high level so i mean when it when he came to worlds for people who don't know when he came to worlds last year he wasn't even on the reserve list he was no. like just off the reserve list and we had a few dropouts and he ended up coming in last minute and and he wasn't even really it was it was the bottom seed mm. and he won his group and brian was in it <laughs> yeah 
and, and everyone was like, what? Like, where how, have you got this guy how from? How mad was Brian? Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, everyone's like, where's he come from? I, was like, I don't know where he's come from. Nah, yeah. all, all we'd had from Mitch Hooper was basically videos, yeah. and he won, I think he won Australia's Strongest Man or something like that. But, but we'd had, just had videos of him doing this great stuff, mm. but he hadn't done official Strongman games, and he hadn't done any, what I would call, major shows. Yeah. And to be as good as that, and basically a rookie. Yeah. I mean, it, it absolutely blows my mind, honestly. Like, to think that someone's come on that quickly is just, I mean, it does make you think, how far can he go? This is This it. is the question. I mean, What um, makes him so good is that consistency yeah. as well. It's not particularly any one thing. No. Yeah. But, you know, we haven't really spoken about him on every single event, but you know it, he's not going to place that badly on anything either. It what? takes, no. it will take someone like um, Evan a real strong performance. Yeah. He'll have to be on his game to beat him. Because well, I realised at Worlds with Mitch this year. Last year he had a couple of bad events because he, mm. he, he hadn't done them before. This year it was like, right, well, he ain't going to do well at the truck pull because he wasn't very good last year. Won the truck pull. Yeah, well, he won't beat anyone on stones. Tom will win the stones. What happened on the stones? You know what I mean? What he's doing is he, he's, he's, he's working on his bad points, which is quite a clever thing to do. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of guys naturally in the gym train what they're good at. Of course. And that's... Almost kidding yourself, really. Yeah. You know, I'm good at this, so I'm going to do it. Well, actually, maybe that's the thing you shouldn't train as much. Well, if you think, if you're a 220 kilo log presser and you become a 230 kilo log presser, you're still going to win. You're still exactly. going to get 10 yeah. points. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But if, you, if you're losing points in areas, that's what you yeah. need to. to but that's, that seems to be what he's done. So, and, and these events, you know, he's got his head around all these events stones, yoke, the nickel stones he's yeah. done, yeah. deadlift, Viking press. There's none of these events that Mitch hasn't you know, got his hand around. We've never seen him do a Viking press before. But he's been training it in his gym, you know what I mean? It's not like it's a new thing, whereas no. at Worlds the first time, there was things that he'd like, never done this before. Well, it was the truck pull. He came up to me afterwards. He uh, spoke to me a little a little bit before and afterwards, and he'd never pulled a truck before. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I was sort of sitting there thinking, well, why haven't you done it? <laughs> but then he comes back the following year, and obviously he has trained it, and he wins the yeah, event. that's yeah. it. That's he's he's going to be one of the favourites. I think yeah. it's going to be a brilliant show. Mm. You know, Evan is genuinely in great shape. Tom is on the up again. Luke Stockman looks in good shape. Yeah. You've got Trey Mitchell, a um, whole host of other great athletes. You know, like we said, Kevin Ferris could potentially break the record on the, the, the Stones. I think a couple of them could, to yeah. be honest. I mean, for, for those newer guys like the Rongo Keens, this is a nightmare competition to have to come into because I mean, it is like a World's Strongest yeah, Man final. It's, sure. Rongo, it's Rongo's first Giants Live, and I'm almost like, shit, you know, should we put him in a different one because it's so hard? But I think Rongo will, will come up to the plate, you know what I mean? Do you know one thing about Rongo, he'll put on a show as Yeah, well. definitely. He, he's so looking forward Eddie to Williams as well. Eddie's yeah. always up for it. I mean, Eddie did it last year. He did brilliant last year, mm. you know, and it was last, last minute uh, and... Uh, Eddie had had a lot of time off training. Yeah. This year he's been training. I think he, he looks great. I think that he'll do a lot better than he did last year, to be honest. Yeah, he did yeah. great last year. I yeah. think sometimes you, you've got to, you, you know, we all, we all think it, uh, we're all competitive people here. Sometimes you want to be thrown in at the deep end. It's that sink or yeah. swim thing. And, and this is where you sort of find out how good I think someone can go on to be. You throw them in at the deep end and see how they deal with that. And then obviously what happens afterwards. Um, some people it inspires them and some people go into their shell and do you know the reality of this it? show mm. you could actually come let's say eighth and still <coughs> be at world's strongest man finalist quality for sure absolutely you know and if you came last you could still be the strongest in your country easily you know yeah. what I mean yeah. he, there's no shame whatever place people it, come it's hard to sort of get your head around that but it's just a fact the yeah. way I was looking at it last night is right there's so, whoever like so let's say out of Tom Luke uh, Evan um I don't know, uh, Mitch and Trey, one of them's going to have to come fifth. Yeah. Simple as that. That's wild. And that'll yeah. be a bad result for them, but one of them, they can't all win. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? One of them's going to have to come fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth. Let's, let's remember, Pablo Cordiaco just won Europe's Strongest Man. Yeah. Exactly. We're not even talking about it. We haven't talked about Pablo. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's yeah. crazy to think the standard of this, this yeah. show. It's going to be amazing. I mean, if you aren't coming down to watch, make sure you tune in to officialstrongman.com and watch along live. Terry Hollins and myself will be on the live stream. Boring Darren enough. will be working hard as always. Running around like an idiot, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be another incredible show. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let us know who you think is going to win as always. We'll catch you guys soon. Take it easy.